Hey guys, back in another video in an unboxing with uh, Rocky right here. Now the thing is, unlike normal unboxings where I do, which or the last two unboxings where it's been mystery boxes from Amazon, I do know what's in this box, and it is uh, Pokemon related. This is from a, po a website called Pokemon Center, as I like to call it, Poke Shop. It has some of the greatest and I'll just say it most pricey. Pokemon merchandise. Uh, I found this website by looking for a score. That's a score bunny wall banner. I saw Lamar Wilson unbox once, and I've just been always curious to go back to this comp this website because it is good products, but it's so expensive. This box alone, it just has two items, but it's twenty. It was twenty dollars. First off, let's get the small. Oh, hold on. First off, I see the bubble wrap. So, of course, you know, we have to. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Let's start off with this. It is a pin of one of the base evolutions from Pokemon Sword. It's Score Bunny, and I believe on the inside it will. It has Raboot and Cinderace. And here's my thing. I chose Score Bunny as my starter in Pokemon Sword. I don't know why so many... It, Score Bunny has been getting so much hate. Or, like, it, they've been calling him too, like, overpopulated or some crap like that. I don't know. I thought I was just... Oh, I could just... Where did that go? Something just... Okay, something fell. Well, luckily Rocky will find it because he likes chewing on plastic. Uh, okay. Um, I will find that later, but yeah. Score bunny on the inside. That's a good mech. And on the inside, if I can open this. Yep. Raboot and Cinderace. Yeah, I don't know why... Uh, mainly Cinderace gets a lot of stuff. Shit, hit. Uh, shit thrown his way. I like him really much. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. Okay, so I'll just say what dropped was the protective cushioning for the needle of the pin. So I'm definitely going to have to find that thing uh, after I turn this camera off. Because I do not want anything bad happening with this the point of a pin. This also be the first pin I ever have owned, and of course it had to be Pokemon. I'm just now looking, see if I can see this thing. Okay, I can't see it, so I'll just put the pin right there. Nope, I'll just right next to me. Uh, Rocky, you don't happen to have it, do you? So not next to you or anything. Okay, and the next story behind this. Um, I was, of course, I had to get a plushie, and what I was looking for was a Vulpix. Uh, um plush, but every time I found a Vulpix one, whether it be the Alolan Vulpix or just a normal Vulpix, they were always out of stock. The, and I would, when it comes to plushies, I look for the cutest ones, for the cutest Pokemon made into plushies sometimes, because those are the ones that I would want. But then I found this cute little one. A, uh, this is not a chew toy for you, Rock. A, a, no, you ain't chewing her. A, uh, I don't know why you can't really see her. There it is. A Ninetales um, plushie. However, I actually do have a Ninetales in Pokemon Sword that I won the Galar League it with, the Pokemon League. Uh, I nicknamed her Blaze, uh, original, I know. I have two Eevee evolutions, I believe. A Flareon. No, not Flareon. Oh, why am I talking about Eevee now? I, this is Vulpix. Oh, God, I am... I don't know where I got Eevee with that. But, yeah, I do have a Ninetales with me in the league. Because I was talking about the nickname, and I have a Glaceon named uh, Frost. Okay, that's why. But, yeah. I love this. It's so cute. It's not small. It's not that big. It's, uh... How big is this thing? Oh, it doesn't say. I think it's, like, a five-inch little plushie. It's cute. This will definitely be on my bed. <laughs> 
I just love her. It's, Nine Tails definitely is one of my favorite fire types. And I remember um, when asked the question, like, if you could have one Pokemon just as a partner, I would choose Vulpix. Because, to me, Vulpix is probably one of the top five cutest Pokemon, in my opinion. But, yeah, again, this is what's insane. This was, I think... Uh, it doesn't show on the this flyer, the packing list thing, which kind of makes me a little upset that it doesn't show. But, yeah, this all, I think, was about $20. So, this was 15 and this was... No, that can't be right. It's just... I don't know. It was a lot. It was a definitely a lot more money than you would spend on two simple things. I'm gonna make sure this never gets eaten by him. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. A little unboxing. Yay, Pokemon! <laughs> I love them. I love Pokemon. I'm 21 years old. I still love this stuff. Fuck go. No. <laughs> Not the game. The character from the anime. Later, guys.